Hello all and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. Last time we entered the Soul Sanctum, this place, and started doing stuff. Investigating whether or not the evil pair that completely owned us three years ago is truly evil. Hmm. Nice room. I like this room. Hell, I like this music. Which isn't good. Keep that in mind. Bad guys telling the truth is never good. Yeah, let's do that. Once the old man decides to move his ass. My words exactly, Jenna. <laughs> yeah, Garrett, there probably is. Sure, why not? He's more childlike than the rest of your characters, due to his enthusiasm. He reminds me of Rain from Tales of Symphonia, with her obsession with ancient crap. He gets really excited whenever he sees anything ancient or having to do with alchemy. No, of course they are. Yep. He chills out down here, and you go this way. Now you can go up, but what you want to do is come down. Pretty crystal room, right? The purple one on the floor is a synergy stone, and I'll tell you about that just after a second. I'm pretty sure I might have mentioned it just a moment ago, but uh, if you use it, you get your full PP, which is nice, but then it goes away. The small ones go away, the big ones do not. Now, you do see these. These are very, very prominent and very, very in your face. Don't touch them yet. You want to come over here and move these. There's an entire scene that tells you why you shouldn't move the others, but I'm, I'm not going to quite get into that because that takes up time, and I don't like things that take up time. Move them both into position, and magically, a hole appears. Don't know why. Don't know how. And then you just cast move. And that falls in. Something clicked. Now you want to do this. And the Luna Glyph starts to change shape. Now this would have been bad if you activated it before you click to the little switch thingy majigger. Run old man. Yeah, it's like excellent work. Wink. I like how they like kind of explain it as if Isaac did all the work and they're still there. I don't know. I always find that kind of silly. If you remember, 
Um, Satoros and Minardi three years ago mentioned that they had triggered a trap while in Soul Sanctum. This was that trap. That trap triggered the storm. The storm that triggered the fall of the gigantic boulder. The same boulder that killed your father and Jenna's parents and Felix. Just so you know. And that's why it's bad news. So, after the little dialogue, you just run over here and activate all of them. And if you noticed, the Luna glyph became a Saul glyph. Hurrah for us. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. You come back down here, and what was once the Luna room is now the Saul room. By right, if one room switches into another room, the room that switches into probably switched into something else. Right? So we head back to what was once the Soul Room, and you find the Lunar Room. I don't know why I act so surprised. I figured it out. And it stares blankly in your face. You run over and touch the wall. And for your trouble, you get the portal. Cool? I thought so. For Game Boy, I'm sorry, but these graphics and music and everything are just pretty good. Considering. Now this place is kind of pretty and kind of strange all at the same time. Hmm. No, I just think it's a big puddle. I mean, it's a room. Yeah, use your logic there, Craden. Use your logic. There you go, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, before anyone comments on how stupid Garrett and the others are, they're mountain kids. They don't know this shit. What's funny is he uses the words endless and end in the same paragraph, pretty much. I thought that was silly. Moving along. Remember he promised that. No, he's clearly looking at something. This had been mentioned before. Again, people, if there's a name for something, it most likely exists. Basic chemistry, only on a smaller scale, everything is made up of elements. It's nice. I thought that was pretty educational. All you have to do is put it on a larger scale, and there you have chemistry. Minus the algebra. We touched up on this grade, and we know what the four elementals are. Woo! Go us! Okay, instead of just calling it Earth, Fire, Wind, and Water... They have it named at planets. Earth is Venus. Water is Mercury. Mars is fire. And Jupiter is wind. Really easy to understand. You basically look into 
Roman gods for this one, and it basically tells you. Mars was Ares in war, fire, you know, you get it? Jupiter was Zeus, thunder, wind. Mercury, uh, I think that was Hermes? Yeah, that was Hermes. Quick, fluid, water. And Venus, I do believe, is Aphrodite. And love is basically the essence of Earth. Yes, you have. Yeah. <laughs> Stone of Ages. Lots of stones in this game. Allow me to warn you all ahead of time. This section is probably the longest chunk of dialogue in the game, period. The remainder of this video, aside from going to go get the elemental stars and, you know, just walking, is going to be largely dialogue. It's kind of getting to the game and the action and the puzzles and everything will get in appropriately. Until then, there's a lot of talking. And a lot of speculation. And a lot of learning what this world is about. At least he's honest. But he's a klutz, so he's probably going to fall into that really big puddle I mentioned earlier. You can see it. It is slippery, douche. Yeah, make the boys do it! They're big hulking men. No, we wouldn't. Yep. Don't you just love being the silent protagonist? Only answering in yeses and noes. Remember, he grabs something from his hut. These are it. And we have here... Bags, apparently. <sighs> Preparation is good and all, but it, it kind of spoils the fun for us, bub. Now, I'm pretty sure this is because the elemental stars are pure energy of that one particular element. So touching them with your bare hands is just asking for an ass whooping. Can't go this way yet. So we go up and around here. Lots of hopping in this game. You'll get used to it. First up we have... The Venus Star. When with every star you obtain, these pillars rise, giving you access to the other stars. And he even digs in a little bit by saying fetch. What a nice old man. Well, time's almost out in this video, so this has been Fenrir, and next time we'll go about collecting the remaining three elemental stars. You probably think it'd be more challenging than this. You'll see. See y'all next time.